ChatGPT receives its first lawsuit. Technology for fighting deepfake content is coming soon. And AI used to discover aliens? This is Mate with Future Tuts, and you're watching the AI Report. Like and subscribe for the best daily AI news, and let's get into it. So we have the first lawsuit for OpenAI and ChatGPT. A journalist working for a gun website asked ChatGPT to summarize a court case involving the Second Amendment and ChatGPT delivered an answer involving a Georgia radio host named Mark Walters who was accused of embezzling money from a gun rights nonprofit organization. The only problem here was that ChatGPT totally hallucinated all of that. Mark Walters was not involved in that case at all. Understandably, Mr. Walters was not pleased about the whole thing and has filed a lawsuit against OpenAI for libel and reputational damage. This is probably the first time a person is suing an AI, but something tells me it won't be the last. US President Biden and UK Prime Minister Sunak signed the Atlantic Declaration, which contains a few deals, including a deal on artificial intelligence. The UK and the US will work together on developing various technologies, including quantum computing, semiconductors, and AI. Good for you guys. The US Congress will look at two bills on regulating AI. One would require the US government to be transparent when using AI to interact with the public, and people will also be able to appeal any decisions made by AI. The other would establish an office to monitor the progress and competitiveness of the US when it comes to these new technologies compared to other countries. So yeah, this is like a pretty big deal and like one of the biggest narratives in the whole AI story. So every country is trying to win this AI arms race I believe the US is leading so far, but it remains to be seen what happens in the future. Mark Zuckerberg announced a plan to put generative AI into Meta's social platforms Facebook and Instagram. Users will be able to modify their own photos using AI even more than they currently do. So honestly, this gives me one more reason to quit social media altogether. The content is already bad enough. I mean. Who would want to see an AI enhanced picture of their cousin's baby they already don't want to see? Or their crazy uncle commenting insane gibberish on a deep fake video from their favorite politician? Like, pros and cons, ladies and gentlemen, pros and cons. In related news, just the other day I was thinking about what new technologies will be needed to combat the inevitable tsunami of fake content that will hit us in the face very soon. And the answer comes from companies like Trupic. So Trupic offers technology that claims to authenticate media at the point of creation through its Trupic lens. The application captures data including date, time, location, and the device used to make the image and applies a digital signature to verify if the image is organic or if it has been manipulated or generated by AI. I call these types of technologies defensive technologies. So aggressive and forward-leaning technologies like AI push the boundaries, but they also break things along the way. And the counterbalance for that are defensive technologies such as these. I think we will see more of this and other similar companies in the future and they will probably prosper. Next, Chinese quantum computer is 180 million times faster on AI-related tasks says the team led by the father of quantum computing, Pan Jianwei. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The team, the team says the device could be applied to data mining, biological information, network analysis, and chemical modeling research. Zhizhen computer, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly again, took less than a second for a task that the fastest classical supercomputer in the world would take nearly five years to solve. Yeah, that's essentially what quantum computing is supposed to be. Like, very, very crazy fast. So we have AI, VR, quantum computing, robots. I smell a perfect storm brewing here. Even more exciting stuff will start to happen very soon, if not even more dangerous stuff. And lastly, possibly the most exciting piece of AI news this week, researchers at the University of Toronto have detected signals from alien civilizations, possibly. 
They have used machine learning and AI to create a new algorithm that organizes and categorizes the data they receive from telescopes and makes it easier to find patterns in the data that bear the hallmarks of technology. Does this mean they've discovered aliens? Mm, I wouldn't be so quick to celebrate, but this certainly sounds like progress in the field. So another great day under the sun for AI, and that's the way it is. This was the AI report. Like and subscribe for the best daily AI news, and I will see you tomorrow.